Hey, welcome back. In our last video, we spoke a little bit about the recruiting process. Once you have gotten the hang of that, now it's time to get you and your shop prepared for the interview. Stay tuned to find out some helpful tips to assist you on your next interview with a potential employee for your business. The interview is the prospect's first impression of your company. So you want it to be a real positive impression. Make sure your building is prepared for a person's inspection. You and your company are on stage for the prospect, so make sure that the person responsible for the greeting is positive and knows the prospect's name and reason for them being at your office. Here are some notes for a positive interview. Number one, you're gonna to wanna to have a place for the prospect to park with possibly their name posted in their parking spot. Number two, post a welcome sign for that prospect. Number three, have the building ready for visitors. Make sure that it is properly cleaned. And as we said earlier, make sure the person greeting the prospect knows that their name. Number four, thank the prospect for coming to your office. Offer the prospect some refreshments. Number five, if they have to wait, give them a comfortable place to sit. Number six, Walk the prospect through your office and tell them about your business. This is your opportunity to tell them about your story. Let the prospect know what is expected of them in the interview. Communicate the typical work day and what it looks like for that person. Tell them the days that they will be working and the hours that they are expected to be available. Be sure to ask open-ended questions to trigger the responses that you're desired. Listen twice as much as you talk. Write down all of the answers for future references. Be sure to look for gaps in their employment history. Pay attention to eye contact. Make sure that they are being very responsive to your questions. And let the prospect know what the next steps in the hiring process is going to be. Be sure to thank the prospect for the interview and be on your way. Now, this video is not going to tell you how to qualify a prospect. That part is completely up to you. You or your hiring manager is going to have to weigh the answers that were given against the answers that you wish you have heard or that you did not hear, and then balance those results against any other potential prospects. But from my experience, during the interview process, I'm trying to evaluate if this person is a good fit for the workplace, the workplace that I'm trying to establish. I'm trying to see if the person is a good fit for culture, morale, and to see if he or she brings something that can be considered that I haven't seen yet. Something maybe a little versatile here. If a prospect that you're interviewing for, say, a salesperson position also brings a graphic design background or possibly a digital marketing background, those other attributes can also be taken advantage of and then maybe that prospect becomes a little bit more attractive to you. Also, for those of you that are asking if it's better to hire someone new and train them over hiring an experienced person, well, that question is still considered to be an industry-wide question with people on both sides of the fence. Personally, I tend to think that a healthy mix is the preferred way to go here, but if push came to shove, I would probably much rather have someone willing to learn and be taught how you want things done than how someone who is content in their ways would like to do their own things and do it their way. Training is also an interesting component of hiring. If you're willing to train someone, you must put that in the ad and also have a plan of attack to train that person. The prospect, the potential employee will be able to tell if the training was well scheduled and put together or if it was piece together in a hurry to get them onboarded quickly. Someone who has that do whatever it takes attitude will always have a place on my team. Someone who is not afraid to say, I'm not sure how to do that, but I'm gonna find out, will always have a place on my team. Someone who directly goes to salary and benefits and only thinks about how we can adjust to accommodate their requests often doesn't really meet the attributes needed to be awarded that position on my team. What I'm going to do for you though is put a list of interview questions in the description below. These questions that I, these are the questions that I've used in the past and have had a lot of success with. The purpose of these questions will give you a little bit more detailed insight 
into the types of answers you should expect and also designed to push the envelope just a little bit as well. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you learned a little bit of something here that you can use on your next interview and hopefully that new employee for your team is just right around the corner. I'm Peter Karunas with Shopbox. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to hearing about how this video helped you conduct better interviews for your sign shop, for your prospects. Be sure to check out the rest of our videos that are designed to help you achieve complete and utter operational success for your sign and print shops. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget, stay positive out there.